Hello! Welcome back for our final episode of Stories That Soar Week at Tucson Virtual Academy. We've loved reading and sharing all your stories, questions, and facts. I learned so much. You know, that story about strawberries made me hungry yesterday, so I ate even more stories, and guess what? What? Everyone else was hungry too! Two of our stories today have food in them. We're gonna start out of order with dessert. Yum! We're starting today with dessert. Today's gonna be a good day. <laughs> moon, moon, moon. Hey, Earth, you want to go jump over asteroids? <laughs> Uh, sure, but let me find the moon really quick. Which moon? The moon? Luna? Oh, that moon! Where are you? <laughs> oh, why did you scare me? I've been looking for you everywhere. And where have you been? I was looking for a supernova with Venus and Mercury. Uh, I heard they are pretty. We should look for supernovas later. But Mars wants to jump over asteroids. And I wanted to invite you too. So come on. Okay. Are you ready for this, guys? Yes, we yes, are. Yes, we are. We are in a different universe! You guys are desserts? Oh, we are desserts? Er, you're blue cotton candy ice cream? And I'm a red velvet cookie? Whoa, Moon, you're a croissant. Uh, we need the other plans to save us. Hey. Pluto? Yeah, I jumped into the black hole earlier. We are all desserts here for some reason. Uh, okay. Follow me, guys. We're going to the candy planet. Maybe someone can help us. Huh? There's no such thing as... Whoa! You were really telling the truth! Hey! I see a portal! Oh, oh yeah! Oh. We must tell the rest of the planets what happened. And so, the planet discovered a sweet new routine. Jumping into the black hole every day and enjoying a candy universe and living happily ever after. The end. Delish. I want to go to space for dessert. Um, um, hey, do you know where we can get a delicious sweet treat with out the help of SpaceX? <laughs> um, oh, in our own backyard. How did you guess? Because bees are everywhere, and some of them make mesquite honey. Did you know the Sonoran Desert is the second most diverse bee population in the world? Fact. There are 1,000 species of native bees in our desert. That is amazing! I love where we live. Thank you for sharing that fact, baby box. Uh, guess what? You have a question about bees? Yes! Baby box, you are on fire with your facts and guesses this week. <laughs> Thank you! <clears throat> uh, can I ask my question now? Yes! yes. Leva in Miss Wenning's class wonders, how do bees make honey? 
It's time for another question with... Curiosity Box. How do bees make honey? Honey starts as flower nectar, collected by the bees. Which gets broken down into simple sugars stored inside the honeycomb. The design of the honeycomb and constant fanning of the bees' wings causes evaporation, creating sweet liquid honey. Honey's color and flavor vary based on the nectar collected by the bees. So the next time you're enjoying some delicious honey, thank a bee. The end. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool! Are you all ready for the next story? <clears throat> it's a fun story with a meowster mind. What is a meowster mind? I'm so confused. Me too! I want to see! All right, let's meet this meowster mind in... <clears throat> the Spaghetti Heist. An Italian cat was walking down the street when he saw a big bowl of spaghetti that made him hungry. His solution? Steal the great pasta that was forged ten minutes ago by the Italian meowster mind named Pasta Getty Noodles. This wasn't his first heist, but it was his biggest heist yet, and he had to plan it out correctly or else someone would find him out. Now, for the big heist. He stormed into the restaurant, claws out, and ready to scratch for his plate. Hey, everybody loaf on the ground now. <coughs> then, he went into the back where Pasta Getty Noodle's lair was. <coughs> Finally, at last, there he was. Pasta Getty Noodles. Pasta Getty Noodles. Uh, give me the plate. Pasta Getty was ten kitty steps ahead of the Italian cat. I knew you were coming. How would you make it to fresh? With the extra sauce and the noodles slightly overcooked and the fresh grated parmesan cheese on it? Pasta Getty noodles didn't say a word. All he did was nod. Then the Italian cat finally took the first bite of his pasta and fell in love. Oh. Oh. You are a measter mind! Yum! Yum! <laughs> the end. Thanks for that great story, Isak. Um, ahem. I've waited patiently today and let Curiosity Box go first. But can I please, please, please share my fact now? Of course! Yay! Prepare to be schooled. It's school time for Baby Box! Horse <laughs> versus Wolf. Horse facts. Lifespan up to 30 years. Mass 930 pounds. Height 5.7. Speed 44 miles per hour. Wolf facts. 16 years. Mass up to 180 pounds. Height 2.8. Speed 35 miles per hour. Ready? Get set. Go! <laughs> Charlotte, 
I wonder who is the fastest of us? Ready, get set, go! <laughs> hey, cuz, do we have any more stories today? Yes, we have one last story. We're headed to a big show. Are you ready? A concert? How'd you guess? This is a boy named Champion, C-H-A-M-P-I-O-N, that spell, Champion, our oh boy Champ turning lost into wind, Champ on his mind, he's rapping about his new song called Champion, C-H-A-M-P, going for the win, and I can't be beat, C-H-A-M-P, champions when we learn how to read champ was rapping word for word but all of a sudden he couldn't be heard champ couldn't believe it it was no joke yo his microphone was broke the girl in the crowd she knew what to do she caught his mic she had some glue 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 that will never do if you want to keep rapping, this is what you gotta do. G-L-U-E, come on champ, it's easy. The girl glued the mic in one piece. Will the mic work? Let's wait and see. <clears throat> testing, testing, one, two, one, two. The crowd went wild on its feet. Champ the rapper could not be beat. Champ and his friend, celebration. They both went on a vacation. That was so fun. You're all champions for writing and sharing your stories with me and my cousins. That is a fact. This week's episode brought me so much joy. We hope that you enjoy seeing each other's stories come to life. We did. Remember, we want to hear from you. Be sure you click on the... What did you think? ...button to share your thoughts. Fact! There's more! Be sure to click on the Friday Finale button to see behind-the-scenes fun! Before we go, just remember, no matter where you go in life or what you do, you should always keep writing and using your... ...imaginations! Bye! Bye.